Hey, this is MJ and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to make our hooded bear blanket. So the color that I'm using for the body of our bear is Soft Taupe and it's Bernat Softy Chunky and there'll be links in the description box on where you can purchase the yarn from Mary Maxim. For the scarf I'm using white and I'm using faded denim but you can go ahead and check out all the colors that are available in Softy Chunky and you can pick out whatever color you like. For this pattern, you'll need two hook sizes, a 10 millimeter crochet hook as well as a 6.5 millimeter. And I am using my Furl Streamline hooks and this is the cafe color. And there will be a link with a coupon code in the description box for the hooks. The bear blanket has this beautiful textured stitch and it's so easy to create by alternating double crochets and single crochet stitches. So I'm going to go ahead and get started showing you how to crochet this part of the blanket. I'll be showing you how to make the taller size in this video. So to begin, you'll chain out 57 for the taller size blanket. I'm just going to make a smaller swatch here to show you the stitch pattern. And we're using the 10 millimeter crochet hook for this part of the pattern. You can always start out with a smaller swatch just to check your gauge. So I've just chained out a total of nine. You'll want to chain out an odd number so that's why you're chaining 57 and the PDF pattern also includes a child and adult size. So what I like to do is crochet into the back humps of the chain and that's just going to give you a nice cleaner edge. So we're working into the second chain from the hook, one, two, so just turn your work and work a single crochet into that back hump. In the next chain, we'll work a double crochet. In the next, a single crochet. So we're alternating singles and doubles. Single in the next, double in the next, single in the next, and a double in the next. So you should always be starting with a single, ending with a double. So you should have an even number of stitches. So if you go ahead and alter the width of your blanket, you want to make sure that you chain out an odd number so you're working with an even number for the stitch pattern. Now I'll turn and chain one. So now you can see we'll be working a single crochet in the double from the previous row and then a double in the single. And this is what gives us that beautiful texture. So we'll work a single and then a double. single and then a double and this is all we're doing for this part of the blanket portion this is really quick and easy to work up and I'm ending with my double crochet turn chain one and we're just now repeating row two throughout the pattern and you can see we're starting to get that texture. So I want you to keep working your blanket until you have 20 to 21 inches worth of work. I'm going to complete mine off camera and then I'll meet you up when I have finished this portion of the blanket. Okay, so I've worked up until I have about 21 inches. So at this point, I am just going to fasten off And just pull that through. Okay so next we're going to crochet up the scarf. So the scarf width is about four and a half inches and it's worked a total of eight stitches across. So I do two rows of blue, two rows of white, two rows of blue, two rows of white and I alternate that throughout in single crochet stitches. For the toddler scarf I've crocheted about 63 inches in length which is 138 rows. So I'll just show you how to get started with the scarf. 
So we're going to begin with the blue and we're going to end with the blue. So we'll chain out nine. Okay, and just like I showed you with the other blanket, we're gonna work into those back humps of the chain. So in the second chain from the hook, and we're using our 10 millimeter crochet hook. We'll work, work across in single crochets all in the back humps. Okay, so I've worked across, we'll chain one in turn and we'll do another row of single crochet, just working through each stitch. And now we're gonna change color on that eighth stitch. So go through, pulling up a loop. We're not gonna yarn over with the blue. We'll yarn over with the white. So you'll just take your yarn and pull it through, tighten up your tails. We'll chain one. And now what I like to do is carry the tail up the side. So all we're gonna do is catch it always with that first stitch of the row. So I'm also gonna crochet just over my white tail. So we're gonna go through and we're catching the tail as well as the blue, completing the single crochet. Now we can drop off the blue yarn, leaving it here, and we'll work across in the white. We work two rows of each color so that we can carry up those tails along the side and then we don't have to do any weaving. Chain one and turn. We'll work back across. And now what we'll do is also catch this tail on that last stitch. So just pull it up. You're gonna stick the hook through. Again, you're wanting to make sure that you're catching that blue yarn. Now what we need to do is yarn over with the blue rather than the white to change color. So I give that a tug. And then dropping off the white, we're yarning over with the blue. Chain one with the blue and turn. And now we're gonna do the same thing with the white. So we're just gonna pull it up, work the first stitch. So we're going under the white yarn, completing the single crochet, drop off the white. And when we come back, we'll do the same thing again. Okay, so I'm coming up to the end. And now we're gonna pull the white up I just like to pull it up. I go through the stitch. Make sure now that white yarn is going on top of the hook. I'm gonna pull up a loop. We're gonna give the white a tug just so you don't really see it. And then we're gonna pull through with the white. Chain one, and we just keep doing this, going back and forth, so we're gonna crochet over. So always that first stitch, and when you come back the last stitch, we're just carrying that yarn up the side. And it's gonna look like this as you work it. So this is the wrong side. This is the right side, so it's really hidden. And then plus we're gonna have edging when we finish the blanket, so you're not gonna see any of that. So you can continue working your scarf. So again, I have a total of 138 rows. We're gonna end with blue. So start with blue, end with blue, or whatever alternate colors that you choose. And work 138 rows. So that should measure approximately 63 inches. So go ahead and work that up. And then next we're gonna come meet up again for the next step. 
Okay, so next I'm gonna work on the hood and we're using our 10 millimeter hook still. So let's make a slip knot and get that on the hook. And we're gonna begin with a chain of seven. Now we'll be working extended single crochets. So to do that, we'll be working in the second chain from the hook, go through, pulling up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two. Work extended single crochets. Right until you get to that last chain. In the last chain, we'll work two, extended single crochets and then we will turn our work so that we're working down the opposite side of the chain. In the first chain we'll work two and then you should have five more going to work over that tail. So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so you should have a total of 14 stitches. Now we won't be joining, we're gonna turn and chain one. So we're working in rows, even though it seems like we're working around. So for now, row two, we'll work an extended single crochet in each of the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, and then in each of the next four stitches we'll work two. So we're increasing up four stitches. So you're just going back and working another extended single crochet into the same stitch. So do that for the next three stitches. You should be ending with five, one, two, three, four, five, and then just work one extended single crochet in each of those stitches. Okay, so we've increased four stitches, so we now have a total of 18 stitches. For row three, we'll chain one in turn and work an extended single crochet in each of the next six. So I've worked across six, and now in the next six stitches, we'll work two in each. So this row, we're increasing by six stitches. So add one and add two and do that for each of the next five. So we've done one already, so five, so six in total. Now you should have six stitches remaining. We'll work one in each of the next six. chain one and turn. For row four, we'll work one extended single crochet into every stitch. So we have 24 stitches and we're working one in each. So I'll complete that off camera and then I'll meet you up for row five. So I've completed row four. We'll chain one and row five is our final increase row and we'll work one in each of the next eight, and then in the next eight, we'll double up and do two in each of the next eight, and then finish off with one in the last eight stitches. So work across eight extended single crochets. Okay, so I've worked across eight, and now we'll work two in each of the next eight. So two extended single crochets in the next eight stitches. 
And now you should have eight stitches remaining. And we'll work one extended single crochet in each of the last eight. So now at the end of row five, we'll have 32 stitches. And we're gonna begin working now our stitch pattern. So we'll work a single crochet in the first, a double crochet in the next, single crochet in the next, double crochet in the next. And we're gonna repeat this all the way across for a total of 32 stitches. So you should be ending with a double crochet. And now for row seven through to 15, we're just gonna keep repeating this. So chain one and turn, working a single and a double. Okay, so this is row seven. I want you to repeat this now until row 15 and then we'll meet up for the next part. Okay, so I've worked a total of 15 rows and this is how it's gonna look. Now what you wanna do is fasten off with a long tail for sewing. Okay, and now we can work on the pieces that we're gonna attach to the hood. So we'll make his little ears and his snout. So now to make the ears, we'll make a magic ring. And I'm now using my smaller crochet hook, so the 6.5 millimeter. And just push your hook through all three loops, grabbing the first, pulling it through, and then we'll chain two. Work six half double crochet, Okay, so now we can pull the ring tight. So take your tail, start to pull it. Only one loop's gonna pull in, grab that loop. Give it a tug, it's gonna pull the other loop. Then just take your tail. Now we're not joining this because we want to keep, we wanna turn and work back making our ear like this. So we'll chain two and turn. And now we'll work two double crochet in the first stitch and two double crochet in each stitch across. You should now have 12 stitches. We'll chain one and turn and now we'll work one single crochet into each stitch across. For a total of 12 stitches. And this is gonna make our ear curve. If you were to continue to increase, it would continue to go flat, but then working just one now in every stitch, it's making it curve, giving the ear its shape. Okay, so you'll wanna make two little ears like this. We'll fasten off, leaving a tail for sewing to the hood. For the bare snout, you can either work it in your main color or choose, if you're working your bear up in a darker color, you could choose to do a lighter color for the snout if you prefer, just so that the nose, when we sew on the nose, that it stands out. So for the snout, we're gonna be using the smaller hook and we'll be making a magic ring. So push the hook through all three, pulling your first, chain two, now we'll work two half double crochet, then two double crochet, then we'll work four half double crochet. So one, two, three, four, and then two double crochet. So we're repeating what we started with, two doubles, and two half doubles. 
Okay, so now to pull this tight, you wanna move your work out of the way, take your tail, start to pull it. Take the loop that started to pull in, give it a good tug and then pull the tail and slip stitch to join. Now round two, we'll chain two, we'll work a half double crochet in the first stitch and two in the next. So this is our repeat for our increase. So we'll do a half double in one and then two half doubles in the next. And just repeat that all the way around. Now we'll slip stitch to join. You should have 18 stitches. Now we'll chain one and work a single crochet into every stitch around. And if you'd like, you can do a seamless join to finish this off. You want to use a long, you want to cut a long tail because we're going to be sewing this to the hood. And to do the seamless join, you could slip stitch to join, to join and that would be completely fine. I'm just going to show you this little tip if you haven't picked it up in one of my tutorials yet. What you'll do is you're going to go under both loops of the first stitch of the round. Okay, and you're going to see that's going to make a little loop and then we're going to come back and go down through the back loop only of the last stitch. And that's going to make sort of another faux other loop. And then you're going to have a nice seamless join. Okay, so we can leave this tail though because we need it for sewing. What you want to do next is make sure to get rid of this tail because it will interfere with sewing on that nose. So just weave that out of the way and then we can give it a trim. Okay, so for the nose, I've taken off about a strand, around 50 inches, just so I have lots. I'm going to put my tail to the bottom, and then we're gonna work the nose around this first round of stitches. And we're just making basically a triangle, and then filling it in. I like to poke up through the stitch. So now you want to pull most of that through. And if it doesn't work out even, you can always pull it back. And I like to go right across the top as well. So poke it back through where we started and over. Okay, so once you have your triangle, you can start filling everything in. And I like to poke right up through the yarn. And you just have to be careful, again, that we don't get everything. I've poked through. So I like to go through this top row and then just keep going down through to the bottom.
And once you're happy with his nose, I want you just to create a little line going from the base of the snout up to the nose, like so. Position everything just so his little face looks cute. When you're sewing on the snout, just don't sew into that final. You want to go up one row so that we can work into this edging when we do the edging of the blanket. So you can kind of play around with where you want to position everything. Make sure that you get the snout in the center. And we'll use just a little bit of cream thread or worsted weight yarn to sew on the eyes. So you can add a little bit of fill to help your nose stick out. Now this yarn is fairly moldable. So if you don't have any, that's fine. It will still look good even if you don't add that in. So again, just make sure it's centered. And then what you're gonna do is just go through the hood and you wanna go through the back loop only of the stitch when you're sewing it on. And just sew all the way around the snout to the hood. Okay, so next I'm gonna sew on the little eye. So I just have a finer needle that will go through the buttonholes and just some worsted weight yarn. just want to make sure that you have them positioned how you like before you knot them. So you're just going to sew them on, knot and trim the tails. Now when sewing on the ears, I like to line it up with the row. So as you can see, the edge of this row here, the bottom of the ear is there and I kind of just have the little sides kind of tucked in when I sew them. So you can stick your yarn needle through to kind of get that started. So I know I want this one here. Then you just try to make sewing it on even and I'm just sewing to the very top here of the hood. You're just sewing it all the way across. And then you can just weave in your tails. And what I want you to do with the scarf is give it a little stretch. Cause with the single crochet, I find the stitches are pretty tight. So before you do any sewing, just give the scarf a stretch. And I found once I stretched it out, it measured about 69 inches and 68 to 69 inches. So this is important when we're laying the blanket on it because what we want to do is center the blanket on the scarf. So we want equal amounts of scarf hanging off each side of the blanket, if that makes sense. So I'm going to lay out my blanket and the scarf on a bigger surface. I'm going to make sure that it's all even and then I'm just going to clip it with some stitch markers just so that it's all set up for sewing and then I'll meet you back up. Okay so I laid out my blanket and scarf on the floor because I found that the easiest and I lined it up so that it was even and what I did is I counted my rows just to make sure. So if your gauge has been a little bit off, it's not a big deal. You just want to make sure that it is centered. So count your rows on each side to make sure they're equal. I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32. So I have about 32. I have 32 rows on each side of the blanket. So what I just did is I stitch marked it, just holding it here. And I did that on the other side as well. Now you want to take a long piece, 
at least double the width of the blanket to start sewing. Using the main color yarn. And once you, once you get that started, you can take your stitch marker out. Okay, and then we're just gonna sew through the blanket and the scarf. And I have a stitch marker at the other end as well because you wanna make sure that you're sewing this on even as you go. I also have the right sides facing. So this side isn't quite as nice of the scarf, so I put the right side to the right side of the blanket I mean, the blanket really doesn't necessarily have a right or wrong side. Both sides look good. And we will be finishing everything off with edging. But the scarf definitely has a good side and a bad side. So you're just gonna continue like this all the way across. So I'm gonna finish that off camera and then I'll meet you up next to show you how to center the hood. Okay, so next, once I finished sewing the scarf onto the blanket, I then laid it out on the floor again and evenly placed the hood on the scarf. So this time, I made sure I've marked it all with a stitch marker. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. So 18 rows on this side and also 18 rows on the other side. And then you can just start sewing. So we have the back of the hood to the right side of the blanket, and you're just gonna be working, just sewing using the tail that was on the hood. Sew that now to the scarf part of the blanket. So working that all the way across to the other marker, then you can weave in your tails. Okay, so I finished sewing on the hood. So that's all done. I've woven in my tails. So now what we're gonna do is edge the blanket. So the scarf will all be edged in the blue color and the rest of the blanket in our soft taupe. So I'm gonna grab, now this, so this is the right side facing of the back and I'm gonna join over here to my left hand side because that way I can work that whole section of the blanket in this color and then when I get over to this side I'll join on with the blue and go around the scarf. So we'll be working with the larger hook you can go ahead and join in here right up into the corner. Okay, so we're gonna single crochet and you just wanna evenly space out these stitches as you work. So just evenly work down to the corner and I'll meet you back up when we get down there. Now, when you get to the corner, we're gonna do three single crochet in that corner. And then continue. And when we get to the other corner, we'll add three single crochet and I'm gonna keep working until I get up to the scarf and then I'll meet up with you to show you how to change the color to edge the scarf. So I'm coming up to the corner here. I'm gonna fasten off with the main color. We'll have to pick it back up at the hood. So we're gonna come and join in, pulling that through and now we'll start working the edge of the scarf. OK, 
Okay, so you're just going to work the edge all the way around and you can add two single crochet or three single crochet in, in the corners is fine. So just work all the way around up to the hood and I'll meet you there. So I just added two single crochets in the corner and I've just continued working and I'm doing one single crochet per row and I'm just keeping my stitches tight and that'll just help any waving that might happen. Now when we're coming up to the hood, you're just gonna grab your main color yarn, pull through, and just continue working across the hood. So we'll need to cut the blue because we'll have to pick it back up on the other side. So I'm just going to continue working this edging off camera. At the end of the hood, I've cut off my main color and we're going to pick back up the blue yarn pull it through and continue working the edging of the scarf. So once we get to the end of the scarf, we'll be slip stitching in that first stitch to join. Okay, so I've worked all the way around. I'm just gonna slip stitch to join. and off and now you can just go ahead and weave in all of the tails from all of the color changes so I'm gonna go ahead and do that next off camera so the last thing that you can do is add some fringe to the scarf once the edging's all done and everything's finished this is the final step so I cut a bunch of strands at 10 inches now I only have this much blue left so it's going to be tight depending on how your gauge is worked out. You can always make your fringes a little bit shorter. I've already trimmed these ones up if you're running out of yarn. I've gone with working the fringe across nine stitches along the bottom. So what you're gonna do is one or take two pieces of fringe per stitch. You're just gonna pull the fringe through Take the loop, take your tails, pulling them through. And that's going to put the nice side of the knot on this side. And you just keep taking two pieces. And just working through each stitch. Now again, if you are short on yarn, even if you did only one strand per stitch, or just purchase an extra ball to be on the safe side. So once you get all of your pieces attached, you then just wanna trim them all so they're all, as you can see, they're gonna be kinda of straggly. So just trim them so that they're nice and even. Okay, so in total, I used five balls of our main color, and I have this much left over, a ball of white, and I still have this much, and then one ball of the blue with just a tiny bit left. And then you'll just need that small amount of brown for the nose. Now with the amount you have left over, you could always add little mittens to the side, but it's not something that I've added on mine with the scarf, but it's always a little add-on you could do with your leftovers. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and tap the bell to stay updated on all my new videos and tutorials. Thanks so much, guys. Have an awesome day.